This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Gears with conditions. Let's make the gear spin only when the space key is being held down. Okay, so you can see I already hit run on mine. Bloop, they're spinning. Do this. Add code that checks whether the space key is being pressed down. Okay, so we need to check if space is being pressed. We need to check if space is being pressed. Move the code that makes the gears rotate so that they ro only rotate when the key is pressed. All right, so how can we ch check if something? Well, an if statement. We'll need to do that in the draw loop because it's what's actually creating our sprites. Well, not creating, it's drawing them on the screen. It's also using the counter pattern, right? The blue gear is going down by one 30 times a second, which gives the illusion of movement. Uh, the blue, the green gears rotations up by one illusion of movement. All right. So I'm going to use an if because we're checking if. Now, what do I want to know? I want to know if add code that checks whether the space key is down. Well, let me go to world. And then let's look at key down here for a sec. And if you're unsure ever, keep in mind, if you hover and click, that's not what I wanted. See examples. And it will tell me here checks if a specific key is pressed and it responds with a boolean right it will say true or false so i can drop this directly in my if key down nope not the up key right we want the space key so if the space key is down what do we want to have happen whatever code we put inside of this blue mouth thing is the code that will run if the key is down otherwise it just skips over it and runs the code below. So I'm just going to put blue gear in here for now, which is rotating backwards. And let me demo this. Our blue gear is not moving, right? But everything else works. Our computer right now hits our if statement. It says it's key down and I'm not pressing the space. So the computer responds false. If this here is false, it just skips this code inside the blue mouth thing inside of the if statement. It just skips over it and just runs the code below like normal. And then every time it runs through this loop, which is 30 times a second, we're again asking, hey, space key down. Nope. Okay, we're good. Skip over this. The blue gear won't move, but move the others. Now watch when I press the space, instantly the blue gear is moving. Because now if key spa down space is true, I'm holding this space. The computer says true. And it goes, oh, oh, okay. This is true. So it will run the code inside, which is this statement right here, which is minusing one of blue rotation, making it look like it's moving counterclockwise. Now, it wants us to move all gears. Let me release space. Let me hit reset. To make that happen, to make it so the gears only move all of them if space is pressed, I need all of the code inside of our if statement, inside of this blue mouth. And then if space is pressed, all of this code will run and giving the uh, using the counter pattern to change up the rotation by one 30 times a second as long as space is down. Boom. Bum, ba, da, da, go, gears, go go and you got to realize though when this is true when i'm holding down space all of this runs it's a boolean it responds true this code runs if it's false it doesn't break anything right if this is false i'm not holding space our gears aren't moving because it just skips over the code in the if statement but it still draws them on the screen like normal so what's happening is we're controlling when these events occur and this stuff only occurs if i'm holding space onward